coming up is my special guest, producer Dave Shelton, right after the commercial break, so don't go away. You know, Special K has more nutritional value than Frosted Flakes. And welcome back to the Rustin Report. I would now like to take this opportunity to introduce you the, to the creator of this little guy. This is little Snuggy Bear, and he's very popular with the children all over the world these days. And his creator is Mr. Dave Shelton. Dave, thank Hi. you so much for joining us today. It's my pleasure. Yay! Snuggy Bear is going to give you a smooch. <laughs> <laughs> you can tell you guys it's get along. It's mutual. Yeah. <laughs> it's mutual. Well, that's good. <laughs> so now we're going to get into you. Do you wear several hats? You're a producer, you're a director, a writer, and a cartoonist. Tell me. Uh, about this Snuggy Bear adventure you've got going, and then we're going to talk about your new sitcom uh, against type. Okay, great. Well, I created Snuggy Bear on Valentine's Day 1995. He was basically spawned from a little bear that I had gotten in a girlfriend at the time. And she said, oh, it's so cute. You should just draw him. So I started drawing him. And the way my mind works, it's everything that comes out of me is for some sort of project. It, it can't just be a drawing, it has to like accumulate to something else. And I just started sketching him and one thing led to another and the rest of the characters came out and the whole concept of the show developed. Now the show, where, where can people see the show? What kind of show is it? Uh, it's a kids television show. Right now we're in the funding stages of it, but we've gotten a grassroots movement of thousands of people joining the fan clubs mm -hmm. that we set up through the internet. Uh, word of mouth has gotten out, so we've been able to get merchandising deals. We've gotten just about everyone in town attached to this thing. Um, well, speaking of merchandise deals, I know that internationally you guys uh, release uh, eyeglasses. Yes, a okay. company called Crystal Clear Vision Group licensed mm -hmm. the characters for a line of glasses, and they're being sold in China and Europe, and they're really making waves now here in America. And in fact, they were just submitted for a couple of movies. Okay. to be worn there. And also t-shirts are popular with the children. Yes. Okay. Um, they're, oh my gosh, the t-shirts are selling. Let's introduce our audience to some of Snuggy's friends. Who's this little green guy? He's that so is cute. Barley Bunny. He looks like one of my dogs. <laughs> he looks oh, like I'm Max, so my dog. Sorry, you have a green dog? <laughs> <laughs> no, but his features look like my dog. It reminds me of him. Anyway, oh, yeah. okay, his and, name. Um, he's the keyboard player in the band. Okay, and what's his name again? Barley Bunny. Okay, and what's his take on life? Like, how is he different than everybody else? He's really laid back. He's one of those guys that could have been a hippie back in the 60s. So he's like a dude, Bunny. Yeah, what up, like dude? So slow. Okay. And okay. Around, whatever. And who's this cutie pie? That is Measly Mouse. He's the band's manager. Oh, right on. Figures, right? A mouse. Okay. Yeah. But sure. um, a rat. Yeah. <laughs> He's really a mouse, although okay. he's not much of a rat. He's actually okay. as sincere and sweet as anyone else. But so he's an honest manager? He's, well, he has his moments, but one of the things that he learns in episodes is that he can't do things a certain way if it means deceiving someone. Oh. But no, for the most part, he's really good. Okay. And then this little pinky guy that has glasses on. That's Busy Bunny, the myopic bunny. Come he's on. in charge of merchandise. He handles all the t-shirts, and when they're on tour, um, he usually will handle like anything they sell. But when they solve mysteries, he's also really useful because all you have to do is feed him a muffin and he goes wild, like the Tasmanian devil. Oh. So you need to get him into a place, just feed him some muffins, especially okay. like banana muffins. Okay, well he looks really smart too because he's got the Poindexter type glasses and the little Poindexter type teeth. Well, he's, is as he smart smart? As, he's as smart as any other nerdy rabbit could get. Okay, okay, and then you wanna hand me oh, some sure. of the, okay. And then this looks like Snuggy Bear. That's Snuggy Bear's sister. Well, that's why they look alike. Yeah. <laughs> okay, what's it's her name? It's such a wonderful backstory for them. He, uh, Snuggy and her, that's Carrie Ann, <laughs> came from Alaska because when they were, they're kind of like the carpenters. They came from Alaska because they've always wanted to be musicians and their parents would only let them come to America as if they, like, if uh, Snuggy brought her, and then they'd have to go move in with relatives in like Yosemite. So that's what they did, and then from there they moved to LA. And I'm gonna say with her, girl power, yay! Yeah, the little dots okay. on both uh, Carrie and, and Snuggy's mm -hmm. hands give them power. Oh. So okay. that's another um, aspect of the shows that kids will really like. Okay, and then why don't you go ahead and hold up these okay. last two yourself and explain who each of these little guys are, one okay. at a time. 
This is um, Mr. G. Okay. And he's the bass player in the band. Oh, right on. And but what's he, Mr. G's, what, what sets him apart? What's his little uh, disposition in life? Uh, he's kind of gruff. Mm. But, you know, he's a more... A gruff of, bass player, imagine yeah, that. I know, how unusual. <laughs> but he's more of the Watson to Snuggy Bear's Sherlock Holmes when they okay. solve mysteries. Okay. And then Fuzz is the drummer. And he's like every jazz player musician that I ever loved growing up, a combination of everything. Mm -hmm. And uh, he's just like... Yeah, everything's cool. Like, to him, everything is cool. Okay. So that's what sets him apart. But together, they all have such good hearts, and together, they all solve the mysteries. Okay. And they all, I, it would take too long to go into the aspects of each character. Well, that's why they need to watch the cartoon.